Uh, I used to make my own computers back in my hardcore video gaming days. Nice. I used Same. to go to Fry's Electronics and get motherboards and <laughs> yep. the box and fans. and. I started that online. So I never went to a physical computer store to buy parts, but I would have to do the whole like cross cross-referencing what's compatible with what online and then put together a whole list and then just buy it and then nine boxes show up and like mm. hopefully they all work. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, fucked makes up. You, but fixing it makes you feel like you did something. Well, there's something <laughs> going on when you're like the jumpers for the motherboard and you're moving stuff around and it's it, it was it was cool. Yeah. And then once you actually got online with a computer you made yourself you're like this is yeah. something about that. this. <clears throat> and I remember yeah. when you used to be able to do that with Apple. You used to be able to buy clones. Yeah, I mean my so I way back in the day, still in high school, I've got eight gigs around. Yeah, there's some, especially I don't know. I think it's a man thing too. Men like changing carburetors, the mechanical and, feel. Yeah, of, yeah, that's probably a lot to do with it too. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <coughs> that thing. Yeah, yeah I, I remember think that even sucker. One generation after that, because that whole that it had like basically like elevator levels to it, like the yeah. top level and then the bottom level and then the hard drives and the power supply and the top, like all that stuff, and you could mess with that. If you go over someone's house and they have that now, you're like, what the fuck is wrong with you? But that's the thing about, like, that was the most accessible modular desktop Apple ever, ever made. And now they're making this promise again, like, all right, we listened. We know that little trash can Mac Pro was not good thermally or design-wise for anyone. So we're going to make a modular professional desktop Mac Pro again. That's what they said. And it's going to be next year sometime. And I keep picturing that. I picture them going back to the roots of like a, a real bona fide desktop. Because right now, the most powerful iMac or Mac you can get is the iMac Pro. And you can't even update the RAM in the iMac Pro. Really? You can't update anything about what? iMac Pro. Really? So when they say, yeah, we're going to make a modular, updatable, real, well-designed Apple desktop, 